Instructor Accounts. In this video, we'll see how to create and manage an instructor account. So in LearnWolves, you can choose to assign different user roles so you can control their access to your school. Regarding instructional roles, having several instructor accounts can be very handy in distributing the workload. So an instructor in LearnWorlds is a user role with permissions to create and manage courses, including uploading content and interacting with students in their assigned courses. So how can we add an instructor account? Well, head over to Users and move to User Roles. Click on Instructors and add an instructor. This will open up and let's fill in the user's details. Then you can select the user role. We're going to keep this to instructor and moving on, you can assign courses to the specific instructor. Now here, if the general instructional level of your user roles has the permission to create a course, then it's not necessary for you to assign a specific course to this instructor. Since the users will be able to create a course, then that will be automatically assigned to them. However, let's go ahead and assign a few. Let's go for city travel guide and perhaps cooking for dummies. And you'll see that if you want to, you can even add revenue shares for this instructor. So let's say if I sell this course, this instructor can get a 20% off for my sales. Right here, you can add tags if needed to organize your users better. Check if the user has given consent to receive emails from this school and apply any validation rules. So click to add the instructor. And voila, the instructor is now added and you can see them at the far top. You'll see their name, the role, the last activity. He has not signed in yet. And of course, the assigned courses along with any revenue that they may get from it. Now, what's going to happen right now is that an activation email will be automatically sent to this instructor here so that he or she um, could log into the school. Now, keep in mind that a course can have multiple instructors. And if a course has multiple instructors, videos that are being uploaded to the video library can only be edited by the same instructor who has uploaded them. However, video statistics will still be visible to everyone. Now, can you assign a new course to an instructor? Absolutely. There may be a case where you'd like to just assign a new course to an existing instructor. So to do that, locate the instructor, let's say Tata over here and click to edit the user. This will pop up and you have the ability to just add any other course to this instructor, just like that and click to update. Now keep in mind that schools with the learning center plan or higher can also change the instructor role to a different predefined or custom one under the user's role profile. Now let's talk about managing instructors. So here is also where you'd be able to manage instructors. You can view all of the current ones and their assigned roles and their assigned courses. You can add more instructors, you can filter them out, but you'll see that you also have far more options over here to edit them, edit their passwords. You can resend activation and a ton more options, including even deleting a user. Now, can you unassign instructors from courses? Absolutely. So if you want to unassign an instructor, you can only do this by clicking on again on edit user and from here, locate the course you want to unassign them from and just click on delete right there. So that's how you can unassign them from a course. You can also unassign them from the role. So let's say that perhaps you just want to make them a simple user. You can absolutely do that from here. Now let's talk a little bit about calculating the instructor's revenue for course bundles. So as you know, the revenue share percentages are just for calculation since the revenue is automatically calculated for each instructor. Revenue is being calculated automatically for each instructor for the course sale, course manual enrollment and bundle sales. However, instructors will not receive any revenue share for subscription sales. So if you'd like to have a better view of how they're calculated, let's assume this. Let's assume that you have bundle X and its price is 120. So if a user purchases this bundle, they can get access to course A, B and C. The regular price for course A would be 50, course B 60 and course C 70. The regular price for the courses is 180. Let's assume that course C has an instructor whose revenue is at 30%. Course A, is 50 divided by 180 of the price. 
Course B is 60 divided by 180 and course C is 70 divided by 180. So the amount of course C will be 46.667. So the instructor's revenue will be 46.667 times 30%, which is 14. Now, keep in mind that LearnWorlds calculates the instructor's revenue based on the instructor's percentage fee and on the final price of a course after taxes, and no automated payment will take place from within the platform. You will have to handle the payments outside of the LearnWorlds platform. Now, let's move back a little bit and talk a little bit more about role permissions available in instructional roles. So let's head over to instructors one more time and let's check out the permission. So to do that, go over here and click to edit. So down here, you will find the permissions area where you get to select what instructional roles are permitted to do into the platform in terms of courses, websites, users, and so on. And you'll find another very interesting option over here, which is simulate. So here you can essentially log in as a user and see what your users will see.